Waits with Shasta College Horticulture Department and today I want to go over how you start leaf cuttings and we're going to go over five methods that you can use to start plants uh, using a leaf cutting. So let's start with the easiest one first um, and that's a leaf petiole cutting and a leaf petiole cutting is uh, commonly used to start African violets and this is an African violet and um, African violets have really particular cell structure in their leaves and that they only have one layer of epidermal cells and also one layer um, that has chlorophyll in it. And so you do not want to get the leaf wet. So when you take the, the leaf petiole cutting, this is the only cutting that won't go under the mist. So you won't put it under the mist system. You're not going to put it uh, in any sort of um, area where it might get overhead water. So we'll just set this aside and we'll put it in a cup of water here in a moment. The next type of cutting that we're going to do is a pegged leaf cutting. And that's going to be one of these begonias. And we'll just take a uh, cutting off of the begonia. And begonias are nice to do one of these pegged leaf cuttings from because um, they have really prominent stems in the leaf. And they have a palmate leaf structure, meaning that their stems go out like a palm, you know, like your, their hand. So you can follow each of the veins out and um, you're going to cut this leaf petiole, this is a leaf petiole again. You're gonna cut the leaf petiole short <clears throat> and then you're gonna take your snips and you're going to cut through the veins of this leaf uh, and each vein that you cut through should start a new baby plant. You're gonna lay it out like so and then you're gonna take some of these pegs and I have some water here that has a little bit of uh, Fizan in it. It's a 10% Fizan 20 solution. Fizan is a, just a basically a fungicide, an algicide, bactericide, similar to bleach. I'll just dip those in there for a few minutes. Um, these are greening pins that the florist industry uses. Uh, but I'm just going to take some of those greening pins and I'm going to stick them through the leaf to hold the vein down to the surface of my perlite. In this flat, I have 80% perlite and 20% peat moss, and I've made it moist. That will start a new baby plant. So that's that's how that's going to work. So you just you just leave it alone. All right, the next leaf cutting that I'm going to demonstrate is um, a horizontal leaf cutting. I'm going to use another kind of begonia for this. You want a plant with a strong midrib. So any any leaf that has a really strong either woody or fleshy midrib like this can be done this way. You're going to just cut right through the center of that midrib just like so so that you have two leaf pieces cut like this and then you're going to make a little trench in your soil and you're going to lay the the leaf in there. You could use a little bit of the uh, rooting hormone to encourage it to root, but most um, things like African violets and um, begonias and stuff will root without that. And then you're just going to make another trench and put your other piece in there. The next leaf cutting that I'm going to demonstrate is where you take a cross section of the leaf. And so uh, these snake plants are a really good example of how to do this kind of leaf cutting. And so you just cut your leaf off. And then I'm just going to cut it into sections. Um, a lot of times this is called a segmented leaf cutting just because it's a, you know, sections of leaf. And you're just going to cut some sections of your leaf. If your leaf uh, seems a little dirty, you could give it a little dip in your cleaning solution. The begonias I typically don't do this with because they have little hairs on the bottom of the leaf. And so they typically don't like the, the solution. But uh, these uh, sensibaria or snake plant don't mind. It does matter which way's up. So when you get the leaf cuttings, uh, make sure that you don't confuse which way's up and which way's down because up is up and down is down and plants know the difference. So you wanna make sure that you match it up and make sure that they're the right way. And then you're just gonna place those in your media like so. Again, you could use a little bit of rooting hormone if you needed it. Most house plants are pretty easy to start without using any rooting hormone. So that's your uh, leaf segment or uh, cross section of the leaf kind of cutting. The last one that I want to demonstrate is called a leaf bud cutting. And I'm going to use a grape for this one. And this is where you're basically going to take a section of your leaf, or a section of your stem, excuse me, 
and they're gonna cut the actual leaf off and just leave the leaf bud. Now this particular grape actually has a little leaf that's budded out at the leaf bud, uh, but that's okay. And then you're gonna cut the stem in half. So you're gonna cut it pretty much in half. Don't damage the area where the leaf bud's coming out. So you don't wanna damage, don't cut into the actual node area where the leaf bud is coming out. Where the leaf comes out on the stem is called a node. And then this is called the internode of a stem. And where this node area is, is where the active cells are dividing. And that's where you're gonna get the best chance of it propagating. So that's where you're gonna start. So with this leaf uh, bud cutting, I've got this little segment of the stem. I've cut the stem in half. Um, I could shorten up a little bit. And then I'm just gonna place this right on my media right here, like so. And that's how it's going to start. So each of these cuttings will root and grow a new plant. And I'll show you here some of those plants that we've done using these methods. And that's right here with the, um, here's the leaf, uh, peg leaf. And you can see that we now have baby begonias growing in this one. It's really well rooted. You can see that there's all of its roots here growing underneath there and uh, it's ready to transplant so that's good to go this is a leaf petiole that we started last year and you can see the roots growing off of the leaf uh, petiole again my name is Lamone Waite and I'm, I'm a horticulture instructor here at Shasta College if you'd like to learn more about our program uh, please contact one of our counselors have a great day